just got finished going to um, drop the girls off and it went okay it went fine they were able to go in the room together because it was still early so I think that's what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to drop them off at around 830 so that they can acclimate and be together and then that way when class actually starts it's a you know different story but I feel fine. Now I'm on my way to get some coffee. I need coffee and I need it now. feels like time is going by fast it is already 11 o'clock and I need to get them by 12 but I know once I get a good routine now it's gonna be pretty nice because I don't need to edit every single day I'm in the library I'm in one of the private rooms studying editing <laughs> having this time to myself is gonna be nice because when I get them out of school today I can bring them home. I think they will already have eaten. Um, so I can just bring them home, let them play for a little bit, and then put them down. And this just made me realize how tough it is to really do a full-time homeschooling and have a job or goals and things like that that you need to do at the same time. We'll see how it goes. Well, let me get to it. Oh, I look so crusty. Don't be scared, 
Did you girls have a good time in school? Mm, no. Noel, you have fun today? Yeah. Yeah? You like your teacher? Yeah, I like your teacher. Nala, did you like your teacher? Yeah. Did you have fun today? Did you, Nala, did you have fun today in school? It is actually 2.15 and I'm just getting in the house and getting the girls some food. Look, the girl's eating. <laughs> She's eating. And No, 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 don't jump right there, Sage. Come on, Sage. Jump over here, not on the flow. Sometimes he just... No. Anyway, while I'm staring at this, don't mind the holes in the wall. I just put this up not too long ago. I actually like this uh, little hammock thing. <laughs> he don't know how to get down. That's why he look like that. You literally have the couch and he doesn't know how to get down. I actually really like this thing since we are looking at it because he is actually a pretty big cat. He's probably easily 15, 20 pounds, probably 15 pounds. And you can see that this hammock is pretty long. The only issue is him being able to get down. It's like how would he? Cause it kind of slopes. He might be able to figure out how to get up but getting down is like really big issue for him. But outside of that, it was actually made pretty good. These are two little scratch posts. So once I can actually figure out how I want to deal with it, it'll be really nice. They seem happy right now. Look, you can see day two of your missing teeth. Open your mouth wide. You can see the tooth is really coming in. Yeah, it's really coming in already. Struggle mom. Oh my god. So I need to actually get their night clothes out. I'm debating if I want to give them a shower later or not. Either way, I don't want them laying down chilling. What did I say? Sometimes it, it can be a lot. It can. But I'm getting through it. I think it's just, and I'm also tired. I'm trying to get them on a schedule. That's kind of hard, but it's the struggles of first week of school, you know? It's gonna be like that. I don't know if I want to give them a bath first. That'll probably be easier. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just throw them in some t-shirts, get them out them clothes, and then later on they'll get a bath. Go with these. We're having a temper tantrum moment. Uh, yeah. Because someone wants a tablet during quiet time. Tent and I let you guys know I'm kind of experimenting not having tablets during quiet time and just have TV. And I'm not even saying the whole time because I'm sure they're not gonna nap as long because they haven't been napping. Yeah, it's quiet time. I want to. I want to. Basically, encourage them to go to sleep, but they don't have to go to sleep. Either this works, or they have to go to bed sooner. Nala, can you put on this dress, please? But it's all trial and error, right? <sighs> <laughs> Even after all this time, your girl's still on the struggle bus. It's okay. It's okay. So I had a little time to actually freshen up. And I just got finished putting them down for quiet time. Putting them down for quiet time wasn't as bad. She did have, obviously y'all seen, her little temper tantrum, Noelle, about not having the tablets. But when I find that when I ignore it and don't feed into things she eventually gets over it 
so it might take some time for them to consistently get used to that we gotta also see how long it works for because it just started it is 3 p.m on the dot this is typically around when they was going down for their quiet time they was also getting up later i do want to shrink that down uh, it's going to be a trial and error all week and just like anyone whether you are part-time full-time with them going to school the first week of going back to school is always oh, a transition in itself i am about to put up my groceries and probably end up taking a nap <laughs> Today was full, but they seem to have a good time in school, which is amazing. I hope it continues to be that way. Today was smooth overall and super happy. I think today was a success and I can foresee once we get settled into our, our schedules, me being able to have a lot more me time, which is what we want. But that's gonna be it for this video yeah i'll see you guys in the next video